Entitled Kevin's and Karen's on the warpath once again. Karen's telling the fishermen to put the fish back in the water. The garage hasn't fixed Kevin's car yet, and he's already been there four times. The sparks are flying around like crazy today. Kevin's bought a house on a golf course, but he hates golf balls. It's a hole in one. is up at a girl's house and tells her how to dress. This cat fight escalates into a wrestling and wig pulling contest. So she's mad because I'm getting my lashes done and her kids see me through the window and this is what I have on. Hold on. Bro, she <laughs> this is what I have on. Wait, she said she saw a cleavage. Ooh, you mad because my is nice. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> lashes. Lauren lashes. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren lashes. <laughs> she's literally out of her mind. Update, this ripped my wig off. Like, broke my nails, whooped her ass. As I should. As I should. It's 2021. Be the Karen's ass today. Literally. Ass. Kevin loves mistreating his workers. The cops turn up, and Kevin is judged. <laughs> asking the fishermen if they would like to be fished out of the water. What do you think, Karen? We're speaking up on behalf yeah. of somebody who has no voice, somebody who values their life. Why do you take your argument to something that actually matters? This may not matter to you, but it's not about you, and it's not even about It's us. not it's about, about you. Fish. You're encroaching on everyone's Father's Day. Just move along. How do you feel about this being... Dragged into the water with a hook through your leg. I drag them out of the water, not into the water. Their lungs collapse when they leave water. When you throw them back in, they die. They don't die. They're not flying fish. They're not meant to jump out of the water with Do you know anything about marine biology? Do you do know? You? Yes, I actually I do. How many people out here catch, take a picture, and release it? You're still okay. That's even worse. You're putting. It's a no hook different than using Tinder. You catch how, somebody how, and you. How, you how, how about I came to where you, something you were enjoying and I harassed you? If I was acting violently against another. This isn't violently. It's a recreational me. sport. Are you that dumb with it? No. Killing somebody else is not a sport. How do you even know that we're killing? Okay, you do not need to fish to survive I, i'm sorry but you don't need you don't need to be here having this conversation with me whether or not they die when they're shut in, they're up still... how many okay no you see you're already encroaching on everyone having a great night for father's day on somebody else's life. i'm encroaching on public domain the entire earth is public okay so no it's not oh you're one of them uh, if you're gonna somebody else i do need to i'm not i'm killing an animal which i have a license that allows me to go ahead and recreational fish I don't, I'm not concerned with what the law says you have the right to do. Well, the I'm law says I have the right, and technically you are harassing me not, and harassing all right. these people around here. Entitled Karen is accusing the police of wrongful arrest. Of course, you can try to detain them, Karen, but you definitely won't succeed. They're quite a lot bigger than you, Karen, so you better just give yourself in. For an unlawful imprisonment and kidnapping yesterday, because we have here, uh, uh, do you know what the penal code is for trespassing? Do you know what it is? What is it? 602. Okay, can you show us in here 
what he violated in the penal code 602. I didn't arrest that him. That would cause you, okay, well, you're the he supervisor. He was there. You can show he us. Didn't, he didn't arrest him. But you were there. Okay, well, are you, you the supervisor? Do you have anything else that you need from us? We want to press charges. Right. Karen and her friend think that the arrest is considered kidnapping. So now they want to press charges on the post office. We want to press right, charges. Right. Are you uh, if it's a federal law that you're trying to press charges on, are you talking about what, what, what do you want to press charges on? On the officer and on the post office. The that post office? The, po the post office is the federal government. We don't, we don't do federal government. Then why did you so come and arrest our friend yesterday? So yelling. what I'm trying to tell you is, from my understanding, just so you know that I, I wasn't there, I was told he left the building. He was told by the officer to leave the building as a representative of the post office. He came back in and then refused to leave okay. for trespassing. That's it. Okay. Do you know what the guidelines are for the post office? You might want to look those up. Okay, but I just no, no, I, no, I, wait, 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 I just wait, wait, I just want to be clear. Wait, 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 wait. You work for me. You, wait, wait, you know wait, wait, what you need to hold on just a second. Let me no, no. Uh, okay, again, so you, I told you if you're not gonna let me finish, we're just gonna leave. Okay, then I think you should probably take these I don't with need you. Those this is Title 42. It gives us the ability to sue you guys. Yeah, that's fine. Right? That's, you have the no, right I to think that. that you really need to know so about this because we're angry and we're going to do this. This is Title 42. The post office, they tell you what you guys can do. There's actually a page that says what you're allowed to do. If you would like to do whatever else you want to do when you say you're going to sue, you have every right to do that. Feel free to do that. If you have anything else for us, I can you help you out with. You guys are not going to take that seriously until we drop Title 42 federal lawsuits on your desk. Okay. You, and you then have... you're going to be very upset and freaking out about it. And we're trying to stop that. Okay. Because we we're don't want studying. to come after you personally, but we, we will. Okay. Well, you guys have every right to, so uh, you need to do what you want to do. Did you guys take an oath to the Constitution? Okay. Are we Did done? You? Have a nice no, day. no. Did you take a note to the Constitution? Aren't you, aren't you supposed to be protecting us, our rights against tyrants? See, ma'am, right now you're yelling at me and I told Foreign you Foreign and domestic? I don't care. Oh, nice a belligerent day. woman I, still has so her you're, rights. So you're Which not I told you you guys can do. You're not going to help you We have an arrest report. Have arrest report. report. You guys have become the criminals. You guys have anything else Is this what you wanted when you took an oath? I'm not here to argue with you. Yes, you are. You're supposed to indulge me. You work for me. We're your masters. We are your masters. You you're are not criminal. dismissed. You are the criminals, and you're not dismissed, Evans. Bar manager Kevin insists that this girl's ID is fake, so he doesn't want to give it back. The girl calls the cops, and Kevin gets owned. This man took one look at my ID, said it was awfully fake, refused to scan it or have anyone else verify it, and said I would have to call the police if I wanted it back. Fake ID. So you get the police to come okay, here. This is why I'm saying if it's that fake, then why don't you just scan it so that I can have my legal ID back? We are not allowed to get false IDs back, unfortunately. But you didn't scan it how do you know if it's false it's very big you already called to get it are you gonna apologize what are you gonna do i'll i'll show they'll they'll laugh when they see it how fake it is okay is please laughing. get here we'll we'll find out who's in the wrong i just moved I here it's real. <laughs> thank you but i told him it's real for future reference because i'm ever because i go there tomorrow I'm and chug a beer to go there tomorrow right? i know right chug a Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kevin is furious because the repair shop hasn't managed to repair his car. This is the fourth time this has happened. And Kevin has clearly always had anger issues. He's yelling at them to just fix his car. But the man at the counter is giving him back chat. Maybe try another place, Kevin. still making a noise. There's noise out of the bricks. What the f***? What's really cold and sh** are you running here? You still have that one. What do you think my time's worth, you moron? Yeah. 
for a time. Don't even invite me anywhere once. Then why don't you do the Kevin are about to start their own private nuclear war. Karen is a 16-year-old girl, and Kevin is 40 and bald. Face the facts, Kevin. She's right. You are old and bald. But he's right, too, Karen. You aren't the sweetest girl that ever lived. Get the out of here. You're 40. You're just a kid. If you weren't a kid, you know what? I'm going to knock that phone out of your hand. Give it. Are you mad? Your daddy didn't win. Are you mad? Oh, just sit back and relax, you, you dumbass. Bye. Sit back and relax. I am, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Yeah. I wish you were 18. I'd fucking remove oh, I your am, head. Bitch. I am. I'm 19. Touch me. Touch no, me. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. Touch me. You're not worth it, baby. Touch me. Touch me. I dare you. I'll remove your fucking yeah, head. That's provoking. Look at you know that. what? You're in my face. You're in my face. Face, you yeah. better back off. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Look at this little dyke. Oh, I get more than you, mother. I get so much more than you. You know what? Put your hand on me. Did I? Put your hand on me. Yeah? Have another one. <laughs> Are you mad? Let's see. Let's see your play real quick. Yeah? Yep. Get behind it. Please, get behind it. Get behind it. Bye, baby. You know what you need? You need to be removed from the gene pool because you're too f***ing stupid to be alive. Yeah? Yeah, you do. Yeah, uh, you have yeah. no hair, sweetie. Oh, baby. Touch me. Touch me. No. Don't touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Come on. Come on, heart. Get that phone out of my face. I'm about this close. I'm about this close. I'm about this close. How old are you? Hey, hey, shut up. You shut up. Shut up. Who's out here out of this truck? Bye, baby. Kevin is refusing to make space for this car because he doesn't want to cross the yellow line. Help. So this lady in the front car, she's trying to park in this spot that's open, and this guy just like will legit not move and go around. He's he's saying that he can't pass on a yellow line, and and now he's like literally just honking his horn everywhere. So now everyone is just pissed. You're an idiot. You saw me stop, and then you came around and Call the police, Gene. <laughs> Is this guy seriously not gonna pass? My man, no, he's not. Look at this guy. Look at this fool. Go around, dog! Karen's saying this cashier has got too much mouth. Really, Karen?
Karen is threatening to flatten tires. That's illegal, Karen. On my days off, as I don't appreciate my dogs barking at these guys up on the roof. Okay. Well, would that be a problem? Well, it wouldn't, but today's our last day, so we won't be here anymore. Well, that, that was what that guy just said. But I mean, if I want to... He said five more to ten more days. <laughs> well, if he's on the job, you better fire him right now. I don't think so. We're allowed to start as early as we like. Nope. Uh, well, I believe we are. Oh, yeah, you are. We don't ever usually start before seven. You are, but I'm telling you, on my days off, if you keep it up... You're going to have keep some what flat, up? You're going to have some flat tires in the neighborhood. Keep what up, though? All Noise. we're doing is roofing. All we're doing is roofing, dear. Noise. I live in the other half okay, of that. Okay, I, I, I yeah. understand. So my dogs are watchdogs. Yeah. Well, we so never started until 8.30 this morning. Make it 9 tomorrow. <laughs> okay, you have a great day. If you don't. You're going to flat my tires? Yeah, I will. <laughs> Anything that is sitting here is going to have a flat tire. <laughs> the manager doesn't let her buy this item because it has the wrong price sticker on it. So whose side are you on, guys? Someone got That's this not the shelf. my problem. I cannot sell I it. picked up this item. It was, item. It was priced not once, but twice. Customer, and I'm not going to sell it to you that price. I'm not. Okay, then get your corporate office on the phone because when you nope. price if something you incorrectly, you, you have to do it. Pay Somebody for it. put that on there. That's not my problem. It is not the only one that was there. I'm not going to sell like it to you. Me. You call the 800 number that's on my hour time. No, I asked so for your you area number. Your that's area your director's problem. Aiden. She is a town today. It doesn't matter. She has a cell phone, and that cell phone is public yeah. knowledge. Yes, it is because I applied for you guys. If you don't want this, we're done. If you want to call the corporate number, it's on that right there. Someone got a sticker and put it on there, and I'm not going to sell that at that price. That sticker was put on there by somebody else. And the only person that has the sticker guns to put it on there is your employees. No, that was cool and that is No, it was not. And that's not the first time I've come in here and you all have had something on that clearance rack that is priced incorrectly because your other manager, the little girl that has the blonde hair, before she was demoted, I come in here and I got 17 items off of there and every one of those 17 items was priced incorrectly. So don't tell me it doesn't happen because it does. And then for you to be as disrespectful to walk off while I'm in the middle of a conversation with you, you because of something that you all did incorrectly did to help that. another customer is bad customer there. service. Someone else put that on there. And, we're not and then I'm there. asking you for your area manager's number and you're refusing to give it to me. That's exactly and if right. I call the corporate office, they're going to give it to me because they're going to say you have to go through the area, the chain of command. You're going to have to call the yeah, corporate call office. The Call the number. Ma'am, I've seen you in here before. I shop in here a lot, and I never have a problem. So for me to have a problem today, then that's an I've issue. I've seen you with type of situation in here before. You are a liar and a half. I remember. You're a liar, because every time I come in here, half the time, you're so incoherent, you don't even know what you're doing. And when you do know what you're doing, and you ring me up, we have no problems. I remember you from the last time we had a conversation. The last you time were we wanting to do some things that we couldn't do. And what was those? What were those things? What were those things? Please remind me. Okay. What you're going to need to do. Is no. What you're going to need to do is give me hey, your area me. manager's phone okay. number. Ma'am, I'm not kidding with you. Leave my store. Call the police. Leave my store. You need me to call them for you? Mama. You need me to call them for you? Listen, you're not going to be a smart today. Uh, Did you just call me a smart? I said you're not going to be one. What gives you the right to call me a smart? I'm not calling you one. I'm telling you. You you're just not said it, be and you're being recorded. So I have proof that you just called me a smart. No, I didn't. I said you're not going to be one. No, you said you're not going to be a smart. That's what you say. You said you're not going to be one with me. And I'm calling them right now. Good. Because you're refusing please, to leave my store. Please do. Please do. Poor Kevin didn't get promoted. So now he's acting the boss in his own neighborhood. These workers are having none of it. Poor Kevin, you really are a loser, aren't you? No. Hey, man. I don't get why you guys are being so aggressive about this. I've asked you to stop using that. They're not allowed. Bro, they're, bro, they're, you're making my life difficult. Every, everybody that lives on this block, we can't have our windows open. 
just because this house wants some leaves removed doesn't mean that you guys get a break sitting in the ordinance. I don't care. We don't care either, bro. All right. All right, so watch out who the f talking to like that, bro. Thank you, one, bro. I'm going to let you know right now. Who's in charge then? Dude, are you you gonna get in my face? All right, I'll I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll no, I'll leave. What's up, bro? Hey, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. What's up, bro? What you gonna do? I'm leaving, man. I'm getting out of your face. I I will. Cause I'm not the one, bro. All right. All right. All right, bro. All right. I appreciate you. All right. We're working hard, bro. All right. You come with us, bro. All right. All right. I'm getting out. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here, man. I'm getting out of here. Kevin can't stand this woman's shirt. It's called freedom of speech, buddy. Read someone else's T-shirt, Kevin. You work here. Your supervisor outside here. I'm, I'm not offending you. You're offending everyone out here. Bullshit. My, my right. children don't know that word. This is my right. My this children my don't right. know that it's word. Of They're speech. five and six you years old. I find that hard to believe. My children are five and six years old. You got a supervisor inside here? My parent, my my in-laws own it. My it's wife's in charge. Go in there and talk to her. Good. And go wear that shirt in there. Absolutely. Go. Where show me go. Yours. Show me right now. My children are five and six years old. Are your children here? Do you think that are I want them to see that shirt? Are here? Do you think that Are I want them to see that shirt? Here, sir. That shirt I'm is offensive. That's a bad word. Oh, You're bad saying word. bad words in front of children. Is your children here? Are your children here? Please, let's go talk to You're your wife. People. Let's go talk to your wife right now. You got the policies that make you feel like a big man? Go ahead. Keep on walking. Karen the bike thief is struck again. Caught red-handed yet again. Karen, maybe you should crack safes instead. We left our bikes out. And this is like a nice track bike, right? We had another one that was nice like this. Middle of the day, they switch out our bike for this spray painted bullshit with the dominoes. What? All right, so we're gonna go find these people. We'll give you an update. We got update? A, we got a clue. We, we got found a, a clue. We found an address that this person left. This is unreal. Me. We found her. Don't we me. found her. You face. will? We're on public property, yeah, man. I don't care. That's my you bike over the there. Right I'm just trying to record yeah. the bike. Uh, oh, it's not yours. Oh, it's not mine. No, right now it's county property. This oh. County property oh, it's county property yeah. now. If really? You call Ricky, get the out of my face Who's with your Ricky? camera phone. Ricky Bobby? Ricky Bobby's not coming to help you. Oh. You're in Manatee County. I am. Really? Yep. So that's not my bike. That you didn't you didn't take that from my house. Nope, it's not yours anymore. Oh, anymore. You got a bill of sale. Do you have a bill of sale? Do you have a bill of sale? Because you just tried to hit me with your. Yeah. There you go. Hope you got a good memory. I hope somebody comes outside and sees this. This is absurd. You ought to leave. With my bike, I'll leave. Nope. You can have my bike in the back of your car. Go get your bike. You and walk come your back, back, get your back and get your bike own or bike. Oh. Uh, right yeah, that's my bike. So if you want to walk back and get yours, it's still sitting in front of my house. I'll ride this back to your house and get mine. Okay, I'll follow you. That's fair. No, I'm not gonna run you over. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Hey, man. This is absurd. Uh, you, uh, you, you wanna follow me? Yeah, but I don't remember where that was. Oh, so you wanna follow me? So I turned get... off the side road to get away from the main traffic because people were being crazy. You wanna follow me back to my house? Yeah. Okay, let's go. And you better... This Karen manager is insulting her customers' parenting skills. On her face when she looked at me, don't I don't tell me how my daughter was. My daughter was completely fine. She said, "Can I just change right here?" Do you think that having a child can get down to changing clothes in public is okay for your child? I have she a leggings. Do you know what leggings are? Do you know what leggings are? All right, ma'am. Are you stupid? Do you know what leggings are? Are you stupid? Why do you act stupid? Act stupid. You are acting stupid. You're talking to your employees like my daughter was back there. She was. 
she, she, she was naked. not. But she, she was in leggings, leggings and changing clothes. She was in leggings not and a sweater. Not appropriate. She tried on a pair of not pants over her pants. Not appropriate. That is appropriate. Not appropriate. How is that not appropriate? Have you seen the people that shop in this store? The skeezy men that shop I in this store? I don't care. The no, she was in you leggings and a sweater. That you're exposing leggings your child to skeezy people? I wasn't exposing my child to anything. Yeah. Don't talk to me about my parenting. Yeah. I was not I'm exposing my child. That was, yeah. That was not it a good call. It absolutely is not. not I am an incredible call. parent. I don't even not care. Your opinion not means nothing. Not a good I'm call. I'm just telling you. If my she was not back nothing, there. Why are you Because you're talking to all you. your employees about it. I, do, I watched you. I do teach so, them how to handle She was not naked. She was in yeah. leggings. Hit the plus for more Karen content. I, I will be calling for it. I don't need you yelling. I will be calling for it. And I will let you know that you had your daughter changing her clothes on the floor. Karen is picking on the wrong kids today. We chilling, bro. And this lady just coming up like next to us, like, who is this? Talking about some he can't be. This what? That's my cousin. He he's just visiting. Who are you to come over here? How long you live here? Ten years. How long you live here? Seventeen years. Oh, really? Who are you? Oh, who are you? you Get out of here. You don't even count at seventeen. You don't even take care of your teeth. Did, did you go Look to at school? your teeth. You go to Look school. Look at your teeth. Yeah, I have master Look degree. At your teeth. I have master degree. I don't care about your uh, degree. What you you That's my cost of forty thousand no, dollar car. Right? I'm nineteen. Forty thousand dollar car. I don't give Get a a face. Did you, did you go to college? Forty thousand dollar car. I got at? a nineteen. Where you come from? Where? My money, my pockets. Yeah, what you Who do are you? for a living? What you do for a living? You need to take care of your teeth for a living. What you do for a living? What you do for a living? I'm done talking. You got it. What you do for a living? Got it. Huh? What you do fucking for a living? I get money clearly. Oh, yeah. Get you out of here. Clean you car. Get... No. Go ahead. Go piss on my car. Get the out of here. Why are you acting like that? My shit. You hear that? <laughs>